welcome back to episode 20 of our New Zealand road trip. We've confirmed that Christchurch is an awesome city with a great vibe, plenty of character and some seriously cool places to eat and drink. But what about the more family friendly stuff? We don't have our own family just yet, so we borrowed one instead. We just had the most hilariously fun day at Willowbank Wildlife Reserve, apparently our most comprehensive New Zealand themed wildlife park. Maybe it was the excitement of being reunited with friends from overseas finally, or maybe it was genuinely just stupid amounts of fun, but I think we laughed more today than we have in a very, very long time. <laughs> it wasn't just a look at the animals kind of place, it's all about the interactions with the wildlife and seeing their personalities. From the gentle horses to the dishevelled geese. What is going on? What kind of a night did you have? Slimy eels and unfortunate looking pigs. Feeding the alpacas and seeing New Zealand's pride and joy, the kiwi. Oh, and Dane and Stephen had a cute moment feeding the deer together too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I hope, I hope So today is exciting, we get to cross paths with our friends Stephen and Jess from Flying the Nest. And we get to meet Baby Hunter! Yes! Finally! I'm assuming a lot of you guys know who Flying the Nest are, they've been doing this whole YouTube game for a lot longer than we have. They've only got a million subs though. Yeah, so. I mean pff, like only 900,000 or so more friends than what we have, <laughs> but we're glad that you're here with us. So our first stop is always for coffee, they're big coffee drinkers as well, so I think I think we'll be sort of, I don't think Hunter drinks coffee, but we'll um, we'll see. She will soon, Stephen <laughs> and Jess is <laughs> Spend some time with us, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Hey Stace, it feels like you got your way. Yeah, we're at the wildlife park <laughs> for um, Hunter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hopefully we go to like a wildlife park or something. So it's secretly for Hunter, but like, you know, I want to go see the animals too. We've been told there's some eels here that are actually going to come up like on top of the woodwork to try and get fed. We didn't buy any of the food for it, but it's definitely something that we want to try and see anyway. You're being selective as to who you feed. It's like it's like the alpacas in Scotland again. <laughs> Do you remember? I just found this so funny, and they're like, oh no 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 this one's cute. Yeah. Did he? No, 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 no. Wow. feels so good. <laughs> hey, we got a bully over here. <laughs> you gotta give it. Hey, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> a bit more hesitant than you. <laughs> She'll learn. <laughs> Look at these guys, though. Let me tell me. Hello. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I hold, I hold your hand holding it. <laughs> we cop. <laughs> oh, so we're all out. I was clearly having the time of my life. Around every corner was some type of cute animal to meet. But despite the cuteness overload, we were not mentally prepared for the excessive stalking that was about to come. What is with the state of these ones? That's Mother Goose's animal. Yo. Mother Goose needs a haircut. Oh my god. Holy What is going on? What kind of a night did you have? <laughs> Not even white shoes. 
Oh, so Dane's picked up a new friend. I don't know why it's following me. <laughs> Will it stop? Oh, oh no, no, no Jess! <laughs> Does she actually need saving? <laughs> yeah, she actually probably does. <laughs> it's still coming! This geese is just non stop following us. Okay, it's distracted. Go, go, go! Move out, move out. What have we got in here, babe? I don't know, you Nothing. took my map off me. Oh. Uh, Four ducks. And. Oh, a pheasant! Oh, wait. Oh, a pheasant! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> This was really, really fun and kind of relaxing and playful to begin with, but we just non stop are being chased by these geese. And they look so ruthless. They're so. Their, their outfits are just not tidy, but their feet are fascinating. Wow. Look at them. I like they're fascinated by you as well. Might be the little microphone on top that they're that they're curious about. See you guys. <laughs> Get well soon. Black cat coop capuchin? Capuchino. Capuchin? It's not a drink. I don't think I've seen monkeys like that before. Like that little pellet is just a, a drop in the ocean for them in terms of food. Look, Look how big they are. Steve, you're the pig whisperer. <laughs> oh, that's. Oh my that's goodness, do that again. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, see, Steve is the pig whisperer. Oh, oh babe, you dropped it. Look at his tongue. Oh, it's so bad. Look, he's got his mouth open straight away. Oh wow! Do you see Just drop it in. Don't don't be Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby, just feed the poor thing. Look, he just <laughs> drops it. Yeah, oh no, off again. Oh, I'm to say hi to you. <laughs> wow, I'll take your haircut. <laughs> oh, you like Whoa, he's so you. gentle. Yeah, donkeys are so gentle. <laughs> <laughs> I can eat it. This one kind of looks like me. Thank you, Yes, this is this is Steven's head. Are you doing the same teeth thing? I saw you do the little jaw. Adventure go! Adventure go! Hello! Are you hungry? <laughs> <laughs> I the way he eats it's like... <laughs> no, 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 we're treating it like it's a library. The section related to New Zealand. So there's weka in here, which we've shown a lot of because in Able Tasman in particular, they're the ones that always come up on the paths. When you sit down to try and have food, they're the first. They come out of nowhere, little ninjas, and try and steal your food. But we're trying to get in towards seeing where the kiwi are. And I can't believe, yeah, hopefully they're awake. I can't believe of all the videos that we've done and I don't know how many episodes now in New Zealand, we've actually never shown a kiwi. But this is the Kiwi and Tuatara hut. I don't know why we started whispering, it just felt like we had to. <laughs> Dream the day the Kiwi in their pens are asleep in their burrows. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, so we were right to be whispering. Theresa sleeping. That's just because we're New Zealanders and we knew that, like instinctively. <laughs> She's literally holding on like, don't take my kiwi bird. <laughs> don't, don't, don't take it. Let's hope we actually see a real kiwi. Some sex. This is about the third or fourth gate that we've been through as well. So they're obviously very kind of On the off chance you're not sure why we're creeping around in the dark looking for some delicious kiwi fruit, we were actually looking for this kiwi, the national icon of New Zealand, a unique flightless bird. It's estimated there was once 12 million kiwi, but sadly extinction is a very real possibility with only 5% reaching adulthood. Operation Nest Egg is doing its part to change that and this nocturnal house currently has 6 kiwi. Once our eyes adjusted, it was similar to this, but we were only really able to spot one in person and zero on Greg, our camera. Thank you, good Baba. Can't see anything on the camera, but it's there. Oh, there's a kiwi bird. I see its beak. I see its long beak. Oh, That's so awesome. <gasps> So we kind of got caught up hanging out with our friends and didn't really wrap up the day. But next time we'll explore yet another side of Christchurch, the coast. Then on to Littleton, which was at the epicenter of the devastating earthquakes, but has since reinvented itself. It was also where we ate the best pizza of this entire New Zealand trip. <laughs> <laughs>